It's Diana at eKids. Hey, as we start out this new year, we thought it would be really fun to look back at some of our favorite stories and our favorite messages from the last year. As you watch these, I hope that you're reminded that God made you, God loves you, and Jesus wants to be your friend forever. Whether we see you in our in-person services or see you with some fresh content next month, always remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. Enjoy your show. Hi, welcome to Say Cheese with Mona. We're so glad you've joined us for yet another episode. Today we're going to do things a little different. We I love watching Mona. Hey, hey, did you see that one with the Gouda? It was so Gouda. <laughs> Gouda, so that's a good one, Diana. What's the smartest cheese out there? Do you know? Some of you may have heard of it. It's Cheese Whiz. Ah! Funny. I just love these episodes with the farm animals. They're hilarious. Man, Kelly, I just love laughing together with you. What does a frustrated cheese say? You, can you guess? I'm fed up. Hey, Kelly, I thought we, we talked about this. We weren't going to do the mouse joke anymore. No, Diana, I did not put another mouse in your house. I learned my lesson from last time. I got the other one right here. Oh, then who is that? Hey, how'd you get up there so fast? <gasps> oh. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. Hi there. Oh, hi. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. Oh, you're real. I can't believe how adorable you are. Hi, little buddy. Oh, Kelly, he's so cute. Can I keep him? It's a real mouse? You have a real mouse in your house. Oh, Kelly. He's just so cute. Oh, I'm so excited to now have a real mouse. Oh, but I, I don't know how to take care of him. How, how am I gonna love him? I don't know where he needs to live. I don't know, what does he like to eat? I need some help. Don't worry, Diana, I'm on it. I know just what to do. I'll call you back later. I know the perfect way I can help Diana out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let that sit. And we're gonna go ahead and take a live caller again because we liked doing that last time. So let's see who we have on the line today. Hello, caller. Oh, hey, Mona. I am so glad I got through to your show again. Hey, I'm calling on behalf of my friend, Diana. She caught this mouse and we just wanna make sure that this mouse is taken care of so well. Can you help us with that? Well, I'm doing a show right now. That's not really what we're doing. Yeah, but you can help. I know that you know everything about cheese, and I am so impressed by that. You're the cheese expert, and we just really want to know what kind of cheese would this mouse like? You know, you're right. You did call the right show then. So let me grab a couple things, and we're going to get this put together for you. Hold on. Let me show you. We start with our tray. Oh, this is going to be good. All right. Here we go. We've got cheese its, right? you got to have some of those. I'm going to put some of those on here. Then we've got some cream cheese. How many of you guys like this on your bagels? Yeah, it's pretty tasty. If you haven't tried that, you should ask your parents. Oh yeah, get lots of that on there. Perfect, all right. And then we've got some extra of the cheese whiz. We're gonna get some of that on there. Big cheese mountain. We wanna make sure that they've got lots of cheese. Yes, yes, any mouse would love this delight. We are gonna string some cheese on here. 
is going to be delicious. Yum, 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 yum. Mm -hmm. Any mouse is going to be delighted to have this great concoction. And then we've got the biggest mountain ball of cheese. If this doesn't get them, I don't know what will. It's got lots of nuts on it, the cheese that mice also like. There we go. I think hey. Chloe, that would help you. Would that help hey, Diana? Where did you go? Who? Who? Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Glue, water. Oh, hi there. I'm Lucy and I love space so much that today I'm making space slime. Here's my recipe. Can you help me count the ingredients? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Great counting. When we mix this all together, it will make space slime. Here it goes. Glue. <laughs> Ooh, that's icky. <laughs> Water. And this stuff to hold it together. What color do you think we should make our space slime? Red, yellow. You know what? I think that space seems kind of blue. I think that's enough. And we definitely need glittery stars in our space slime. That's weird. Is it supposed to be like this? <gasps> I know. We have to mix it up and squish it with our hands. Can you help me squish it? Roll up your sleeves and get your hands ready. Let's squish. Hey, I think it's done. This is so amazing. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? Making fun slime, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. Making slime is the best thing ever. Mixing up slime is great. Who? Who? And I know something Jesus mixed up, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Hola friends, I'm Luis, the handyman. Look what I'm making for our story today. I'm going to mix this dirt with this water. Watch. <laughs> now, what did I make? Ooh, mud. <laughs> That's right. Now, what does mud have to do with the amazing stories we've been learning about Jesus? Well, I'll show you. Are you ready to help me build a story? Great, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus and his friends walking along a road. When Jesus noticed a man, Jesus stopped. Jesus saw that the man was blind which means that his eyes couldn't see. Now close your eyes for a minute. What can you see? Nothing. You can't see your friends or your leader or whether it's sunny or dark outside. Okay, you can open your eyes now. When Jesus saw the man who was blind, he did something really amazing. 
Jesus spit on the ground and he turned the dirt into what? Mud! <laughs> Jesus took the mud and put it on the man's eyes. Ooh, let's pretend to put mud on our eyes too. Now put it on your eyes. Ooh. <laughs> then Jesus told the man to go wash his face in the water. Now you need to wash your face in the water. All right, now get this side and get this other side. <laughs> now open your eyes. The man did what Jesus said. He went and washed off the mud in the water. Guess what? The man could see. The man was so amazed. Jesus is amazing. We've learned a lot about how amazing Jesus is. Jesus is God's son, and he can do amazing things. <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. See you again soon. <laughs> so there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus mixed mud to help a man see. Jesus is amazing. Ho, ho. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, Jesus mixed up mud and used it to help a man see. Jesus is so amazing. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Wow, Jesus is so amazing. I know I can share this slime with my friends and tell them how amazing Jesus is. I'll see you next time. Bye! exciting craft today. As you know, Diana has a mouse in her house and something that we've been called to do is to help others. And today I'm going to help Diana get ready for her new guest by making it a maze. So you guys can do this at home with me. What you'll need is a box. You also need some paper. You'll need some tape, some scissors, and a crayon and a ruler. To start out, we're going to take our paper and you're going to take your ruler and we're going to make some strips to make the maze in our box. So what I've done is I took my ruler and I made some strips, drew a line, and then what we're gonna do is go ahead and cut it out. And I just love that we can help others, especially now there's a lot of people who may need some extra help with chores or maybe they want a phone call, they don't get to see as many people. And so we can be super creative in how we help God's people. Now that I have my strip of paper, and I've actually already cut out some other ones, I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it in half. And if you need some help from a parent or older sibling, go ahead and grab somebody. So we fold it in half like this. And then what I'm going to do is take my scissors and I'm going to cut the bottom just up to the fold in the line. And this will help us to make the maze and make the walls so the mouse can run around and, and get some exercise. And then what we do is we kind of fold where our cuts are. So it looks like this. And then I'm gonna cut this one in half. And you can leave it long if you want. You can cut it in half. You could actually cut it down the middle and have shorter walls if you want to. You get to be creative and make your own unique maze for um, your mouse. And actually, if you don't have a mouse at home, you also can use a ping pong ball. I'll show you guys how to do that in a little bit. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tape I'm gonna tape it inside of my box. Get ready for Diana's mouse. I hope that it has fun doing this. Tape this in there. And 
And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do one short wall for this one. And when you're done with your maze, it can look like this. Okay, now we're gonna show you guys how you can use a ping pong ball in your maze. And, hmm. Well, I don't, I don't see the ball here, so I'll be back in a sec. Let me go find one. all the fake cheeses for today so we're gonna do the real cheese now are you ready all right one two three well by golly that cheese sure did you the trick well that's our show for today I'll leave the last word to you remember kids God loves it when we help others <laughs>